Back up. I feel blessed, got good people in my life But still I pay love, even though sometimes we fight Sometimes, sometimes But me not here, no, no, no Me not here, no, no But me not here, no, no, no All right, all praise to the Lord. So we back, we back. All right, two things, two things. First, uh, there was a drone outside. Where's the brother that came up and told us about the drone that was hovering? Uh, Officer Carmela? Was it Carmela? Carmela. Where is he? Zedaniah, Officer Zedaniah, right. Where is he at? Officer, where's Officer Zedaniah at? He in the security booth. Can you tell him to come here a sec? Okay. Can you tell us what happened outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Shalom, Israel. I think brothers uh, got a little confused. They saw a drone, and I think they thought it was a chariot. Uh, <laughs> You no, know, bitch were bringing out a heavy class, so I guess they thought the chairs were coming. <laughs> and what happened with the, the, the light pole down there? Someone the Actually, light? yes, sir. Uh, Aussie Real said that there's a, a light uh, a wire down there. Went, I guess came off the pole. Something, something to that effect down there. Okay. So. All right. Now, we just got, uh, we just got some news. Some ba- I want Deacon uh, Malachi to explain to us what ju- we just got a phone call. We just got a phone call out of Montreal. There's a soldier who stepped out of his house with his daughter, but with his daughter in his car. Two guys pull up, and a black guy and an Arab guy asked him, are you prophesying? He said, yes. They shot him twice. Yeah. So. So let's send up the prayers. His name is Soldier Olier. Keep him in your prayers. Let's stand and face Jerusalem right now. Let's pray for him right now. Holy Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, mighty defender of the children of Israel, we come to you, dear Lord, humbly as thy servants, Father God, asking for your mercy and forgiveness of our sins and the sins of our forefathers, dear Lord, for we borne their iniquities. Dear Lord, we humbly come before you for our brother, soldier, Aliel, dear Lord. Oliel, dear Lord, we pray, dear Lord, for his healing, dear Lord. 
For though they try to stop your prophet, Father God, we pray for your healing, dear Lord. Dear Lord, that his name will be forever in the earth, Father God. That he be remembered in all things, dear Lord. But dear Lord, right now we pray for your healing. We pray for the doctors and the nurses, dear Lord, that you will surround him with. We pray for brothers and sisters to support he and his family, dear Lord, through comfort of thy word, Father God. Let us not forget or forsake, dear Lord, our brethren, dear Lord. That, that, that was take, tried to be taken out, dear Lord, for preaching thy word and defending thy gospel and keeping thy laws boldly in this captivity, dear Lord. Father God, we pray for your strength among the congregations, dear Lord. Let not the spirit of fear be among us, dear Lord. The this, this spirit of worry, Father God, but strengthen us, dear Lord, through thy word, dear Lord, that we may continue to keep thy commandments, dear Lord. Profess thy son to Christ, dear Lord, and keep thy commandments always. Father God, we pray, dear Lord, for all the sick among us, dear Lord, and the healing of all thy saints. In Christ's name we pray. Let the congregation say hallelujah. 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 In thy son Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. So that's some definitely some bad news. We, we've we been hearing in the media of this term called radicalizing. How many of you have heard that term before? Where they say that a person can watch a video and become, or they use the word racializing also. They, they use them, I think, interchangeably. And they say that a person could be rash, uh, racialized or radicalized through video, and that's what they're trying to say about this person that visited one camp four years ago. And then they, and they took that and tried to paint all of Israel and say that we are connected in that situation that happened in New Jersey. The point that I want to make is that that rather, you trying to, try to use us as the source of rationalization or radicalizing and IUIC in particular don't do any kind of violence anywhere. But even in the camps that, that are not so cautious in terms of teaching the proper messages, I have not even heard any of them do that. But they'll say that they're being radicalized by the Israelites. Now let me show you the flip side of that. When they paint a label on the Israelites and say that we are terrorists and all this other kind of stuff, what's actually happening is that nuts are being rational, are being racialized and radicalized to attack us. That's why you had that situation happen in, in uh, Canada. Because of situations like that, are you prophesying? That's another way of saying, are you the Israelites that did this and that did that? And we ain't did anything. And the media is not holding no responsibility for that tragedy that just happened. Wow. Uh, Officer Gidelai, where were we at? We were at um, Revelation chapter 19 and verse uh, 18 now. Chapter 9. Oh, excuse me, 9 and verse 17, excuse me. Yes, start at 17 again. Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 9 and verse 17. And thus I saw the horses in the vision. And them that you know, Esau ain't going to stop this. I don't care. He ain't stopping this. He's right. not stopping this at all. Let me get my thoughts together. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 9. Y'all know it's us against the world. I hope y'all know that. Yes, sir. It's us against the world. Yeah. Go ahead. Revelation 9 verse 17. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. Give me a second Ezra 15 verse 41. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 41. So what are these horses that had power like fire, smoke, and brimstone? Go ahead. Fire and hail and fleeing swords. No, it doesn't say fleeing, get a lie. Come on, bro. Sorry. That's just old Bible, Bishop. Sorry. Let me get into my other Bible. Two seconds. Uh, second Hedges, chapter 15 and verse 41. Fire and hell and fly, flying swords. Flying swords. Flying swords. What's a flying sword, brothers? Missiles. That's what it's talking about. Go ahead. And many waters, that all fields may be full, 
and all rivers with the abundance of great waters. Nations, go ahead. And they shall break down the cities and walls, mountains and hills, trees of the wood, and grass of the meadows, and their corn. So let's go back now. I just wanted that to show you flying swords is making reference to these missiles that Revelation 9 is making reference to. Verse 18, please. Yes, sir. Revelation 9, verse 18. By these three was the third part of men killed. By these three was the sons of the wicked killed. Go ahead. By the fire. These, he's going to name the three. By the fire. And by the smoke. By the smoke. And by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths. Right, because in their mouths, which is the warhead. Read. For their power is in their mouth. Uh -huh, that's what a nuclear warhead is. Go ahead. And in their tails. Uh -huh, that's what, a, uh, what do they call it? The, the fire that pushes the missile. What's the word? Propulsion. If the propulsion fuel. Go ahead. For their tails were like unto serpents. Mm -hmm. That's how he looked at it. When he saw these missiles flying, he said their tails are like serpents. Go ahead. And, and had heads. And with them, they do hurt. Say that, and had heads. And with them, their heads, they do hurt. Hey, Alicia, give me the PSEMC missile. PSEMC. He gives a, a, a description. Let's put that up. This is a PSEMC. Go ahead, play that. I don't know if there's volume. There's a volume to it, Alicia. Huh? Oh, there's no sound to it. Okay, go ahead. So read that, uh, read that, uh, get, get, uh, uh, get a liar. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Revelation 9 and verse. Uh, no, no, no. I want you to read what's on the screen. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Wow. Upper, upper stage guidance. Payload, war, payload warhead. Explosive bolts. Detonators. Time delays. Skin severance. Payload distribution. Come on. Alicia. Oh, it's playing? All right. Rocket motor engines, arm fire devices, and ignition safety devices, start cartridges, pyro flares, oh, what is it? Initiators, pyro valves, boost motor separation systems, insensitive munitions In mm -hmm. systems, thrust termination systems. Go ahead. You speed it up. Just pop it. Pop it through. Control actuation system. Okay, go ahead. Just click it through. Cause it's, just click it through. Click it through. And see the launch. Read that part. Launcher. That's what I wanted there too. Launcher. Explosive bolts. Separation nuts. Pin pullers. So what the Bible is describing, you see that uh, you got the warhead. You got the guidance part of the front. That's the warhead and the guidance thing. Then you got the um, the launcher. That's the part he said. Go back. So go back to the scripture. That's all I need, Alicia. Thank you. Go back to Revelation nine and verse nineteen. Yes, sir. Revelation nine verse nineteen. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads. And with them they do hurt. Uh, Alicia, give me the next video. Give me the next video of rocket and missile launch. Rocket and missile launch. I'm going to give you an example of what John saw in the spirit. Is buffering? It just crashed. Oh, God. No, the the system there. So John the Revelator is seeing war, World War One, with glimpses of World War Two, and then he sees the final Third World's War from verse uh, thirteen down. With the sixth angel describes the Third World's War, what we call the Third World's War, but the Bible calls it the Battle of Armageddon. Okay, Elisha, we ready? 
All right, y'all stop talk. Well, as y'all can see, we're, we're definitely in biblical times, last day biblical times, okay? This, the scripture says for us to lift our heads up when we see these things start to draw near because our, our redemption draweth nigh. So this is not the time for us to get faint-hearted. This is not for us the time to, to, to uh, start worrying and things of that nature. This is what we were built for, okay? We're coming, we're coming out of Egypt. We're coming out of captivity, and the Lord is getting ready to send his holy angels and his chariots to get us out of here. Okay, so we have to keep our minds up, stay in the faith. The scriptures say, through much tribulation shall we make it into the kingdom. And it means that, okay? We need to gird our minds up so that we can understand that this is going to be a battle. It's going to be a, a, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a tribulation, but that's what we're going to go through. Okay, he that endureth unto the end shall make it. So it's no time for us to get faint-hearted. Because if you, if we get faint-hearted, that means we weren't really understanding what this was about. It's going to take great power to break the the slave holder from to keep for him to keep his slaves. It's going to take power to do that. Mm -hmm. They say he's not going to let the Israelites go easy. So we need to understand that they're not just going to let you walk out of prison, basically. Okay, that, so it's going to take war, and that's what we're reading about. So you know understand what, that. You know, it's heavy. When you read, uh, like we read earlier, Second Ezra 15, I think it was 11, where the God said he would send the plagues of Egypt back. And a lot of time we're waiting for, um, like, the thing we read about the locusts. But he's seeing it on a higher level than what we saw in Egypt. They remember one of the first plagues with Egypt was the waters turned to blood. And in an earlier chapter, we're going to read that not today, but another lesson. It tells you in Second Ezra about a star that hits the waters and the waters become as wormwood uh, and poisons everything. And it's, go it's going back to the plagues of Egypt, but on a higher level. We just got to look at, through, look at these plagues with spiritual eyes and see them. Right. Exactly. You still getting your thing together, Bishop? I'll get one. I'm waiting on this. Okay. Uh, Alicia, we Give ready? Me. Oh, he oh, okay. said we ready. Good. All right. Go ahead. So now why, we're going here to show you about the missiles, about the, the tails like serpents that had heads, and with them they do hurt. Jump ahead, Alicia. We don't need that opening. Go ahead. Alicia, jump to the park. Uh, there's a daylight scene. Wow. Yeah. Y'all see the tails? Jump back a little bit, Alicia. Jump back a little bit. Jump right, right there. Yes. Y'all see that? That's they had tails like serpents. And with their heads, they do hurt. Three, Oh, no. Tails like serpents, right? Wow. That's what he's seeing. Hey, Alicia, there's a part in there. Skip around where they, they show this certain kind of missile that goes up and goes to the left a little bit. Skip around. I, I, there's a scene in here. It might be at the beginning somewhere. Go to the beginning. After the, after the, uh, go a little earlier, a little earlier. Before that, before that. Let me see. Oh, that's it. Okay, skip ahead then. Go ahead. It's a daylight scene. I was looking at it. Right there. Their tails like serpents. And with their heads, they do hurt. Okay, that's enough. 
All right, cool. Y'all stop. You wanted to bring something out? Uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 50, 54, verse 16 and 17. Because everything that what we're looking at, this is all in the Most High's hands. And the Lord is angry now. And he's getting ready to bring some serious devastation to deliver his people out of Egypt, out of the bondage with a mighty hand. Let's read that thing. The book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. The smith is the blacksmith. The blacksmith is a man that made weapons. Okay, the Lord said, I created that thing. But listen to the kind of smith that God is talking about. Read it again. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. That's the blowing the coals in the fire is to make the steel hot so that you can bend it and shape it and make swords, make shields, make bucklers, those kinds of things. Weapons of war, battle axes, those kinds of things. Read. And that bringeth forth an instrument. But he's going to cause this smith to bring forth an instrument. For his work. For his work. His work is to deliver the Israelites. Let's read on. And I have created the waster. That's the instrument that he caused these smiths to make. The waster. That's what you were just looking at on the screen. The nuclear bomb. God caused the smith to create that. And their hands, they're not going to be able to stop it. The most I'm going to cause them to use those weapons on each other while he delivers us. That's what Revelation talking about when he's going to deliver us up while the bombs are coming. 10,000 on one side, you're going to see people dying. Talking about Psalms 91. But only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Read. And I have created the, created the waster to destroy. And I have created the waster to destroy our enemies. That's what he's talking about. Read on. No weapon that is formed against thee. No weapon that is formed against the children of Israel. Shall prosper. The most I said, it shall not come nigh thee. That's going back to Psalms 91 right there. But it said, the, the destruction shall come. 10,000 shall fall at thy right hand. A thousand at this side and all that. But it shall not come nigh thee. The destruction. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Read that again. No weapon. No weapon that is formed against thee. No weapon that is formed against us. Go ahead. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Go ahead. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Do you see that? The most high means business. So we ain't got nothing to worry about, brothers and sisters. The Lord is our power. The Lord is our shepherd. And we ain't going to lack nothing. So you keep your minds up. All praise. All praise to the most high. All praise. Go back to Revelation 9. Yes, sir. Revelation. Start at 19 again. Chapter 9 and verse 19. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads. And with them they do hurt. That's the missiles. Go ahead. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues. Because everybody over there ain't going to get killed. Everybody in the military ain't dying. Go ahead. Yet repented not of the works of their hands. You see that? It says, yet repented not of the works of their hands. Go ahead. That they should not worship devils. That they should not worship devils. And idols of gold. And idols of gold. And silver. And silver. And brass. And brass. And stone. And stone. And of wood. And of wood. Which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Read. Neither repented they of their murders. See that? Neither repented they of their murders. Nor of their sorceries. Mm, nor of their sorceries. Nor of their fornication. Nor of their theft. So these nations that remain alive, they're not going to repent. Okay? From there, give me second Ezra 15 and 20. We read this early, but I want to go through it again. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 20. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth mm -hmm. to reverence me. That's what we just read about. Go ahead. Which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Lebanus. That's Lebanon. Read. To turn themselves one against another. They're going to fight World War Three. Go ahead. And repay the things that they have done to them. Repay the things that they have done to the Israelites. That's what the next verse is going to explain. Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, mm -hmm. so will I do also and recompense in their bosom. Right. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God. Read. My right hand shall not spare the sinners. See what the Lord said? He said his right hand will not spare the sinners. Christ will not spare the sinners. Go ahead. And my sword shall not cease over them. 
that shed innocent blood upon earth. Right. Go ahead. The fire is gone forth from his wrath and have consumed the foundations of the earth and the sinners like the straw that is kindled. Woe to, woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. Hold on. Give me Second Peter 2.17. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments. Now I'm going to touch on our people just for a moment. Just for a moment. It's the book of 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 17. These are wells without water. These are wells without water. You ever go to it? So Peter's given an analogy um, about Israelites. You go to a well to get water because you might be thirsty. But there's no water in the well. So you got brothers and sisters who appear like they have knowledge. They got water. They got understanding. But when you examine them, they are wells without water. You see a lot of them on YouTube today. Go ahead. These are wells without water. Clouds that are carried with a tempest. Clouds that are carried with a tempest. Go ahead. To whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. To whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. Meaning what? There are certain spirits that are reserved for evil. They were coming as truth, as brothers, as sisters, but in the end, they were reserved for evil. That's what that darkness is. What verse you at? Verse 18 now. Go ahead. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity. When they speak great swelling words of BS, of lies. It's talking about Israelites now. Go ahead. They allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. So, you, for example, like Deacon Malachi brought out today. You get a brother who's been here for some time now. He sees a video that went, that a, a, a dumb video that went up. When was that thing? December of last year. He just sees it and then goes, hey, I've been tricked. I've been fooled. I'm leaving. Evil, evil, evil. Read that verse again. What verse is that? 18? Verse 18. Go ahead. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity. Now you got all those spirits. And it ain't too many. I'm saying all like it's a lot, but I'm just saying all. They, what do they do? They reach out to brothers and sisters that do not apply Romans 16 verse 17 about what? Where it says, uh, how does it say? Mark Have them. no fellowship with them. It doesn't say that. What does it say? Mark them that cause divisions. Mark them that cause divisions and avoid them. So you have some of you men and women go, I don't have to obey that. You can't tell me who to talk to. Okay. We can't tell you who to talk to. This is what happened. Read 18, 18 again. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity. This is what happens. They allure through the lust of the flesh. They allure you. They draw you into their BS, their lies, their evil. Go ahead. Through much wantonness. Through much wantonness, sex, sexual evil, and it's talking about spiritually. Go ahead. Those that were clean escaped from them. That's who those of you that remain behind. You were clean escaped from them, but you kept entertaining it. You listened to them. They were my friends. I'm not cutting them off. I'm not obeying Romans 16 and 17. I know Christ said if your right hand offends you, cut it off, but I'm not obeying Christ either. Mm. So you men and women, this is what happens. It says... Through much wantonness, those that were clean escape from them who live in error. Go ahead. Verse 19. While they promised them liberty. They promise you liberty. Hey, come with us. You don't got to do what they say. They're not the men of the Lord. Come to my house and sit with me. And we'll start all over again. Here it is. It's almost a year later. They've not taught one thing on the street. They have not traveled nowhere. They've done absolutely nothing. Yeah. We had a brother that was with us that said, well, he's a nigga now, mm -hmm. but it was a, <laughs> a nigga that was with us that actually left and said, hey, you don't have to go on the street and teach no more. Really? Wow. What scripture was that? He didn't have one. Exactly. But they, those spirits fool some of you men and some of you women. And you brothers, if you know your wife, because this is what happened here, this incident, it's not so much the brother. It is him because he's weak. His wife stayed in contact with the wives of the idiots that left. They got in her head, and because he's weak, she got in his head. I told you about that damn pillow talk. Right after you have sex, you want to have a damn conversation. Don't talk to me. I'm tired. Go on and go to sleep. 
but not this brother. She goes, let's cuddle. You need to be more affectionate. And he goes, c'est passé, mademoiselle. And she's in his ear. They're wicked. They're evil. We need to go be, do, do, be, do nothings in the world with the rest of those men and women who love the Lord. C'est passé, mademoiselle. And then leave, and now he's a big turd. And he started off good doing work in Haiti and all that. Now look at him doing nothing with his damn buzzard wife. Wicked as hell, but shame on you. But that's what this is talking about. Read that again, verse 19. Verse 19, while they promised them liberty. Because the fools that leave this truth, they promise you liberty. They say, oh, you got to keep. Those commandments are a burden. Keeping the Sabbath is a burden. I promise you liberty. You only got to observe, observe the Sabbath from sun up to sundown. That's it. And they go, yeah, that's more easier. I could go shopping now Friday night. I could, hey, I could go to the club Friday night. Read while well, they promised them liberty. They themselves are the servants of corruption. Those men and women that left this truth, they are servants of corruption, servants of sin. That's what it's talking about. Go ahead. For of whom a man is overcome. Of the same, he is brought into bondage. You're brought into bondage of sin. That's what it's talking about. So Peter was warning us. Why? Because it happened back then during the time of the apostles. And it's happening all over again. Read. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world. So when you came in this truth, you struggled, you fought to escape the sins of the world. That's what it means. Escape the pollutions of the world. Go ahead. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You escape. How do you escape the sins of this world? Through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He gives us the laws, the commandments. He teaches us what sin begins in our minds and our thoughts. And we got to start to curb our thinking. That's how we escape the pollutions of the world. Go ahead. They are again entangled therein. But because you were listening to them fools that left this truth, you are again entangled. Go ahead. And overcome. And then you become overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. See that? The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. It's worse with you now than when you first came in. When you first came in, you only struggled with porn or, or weed. Now you left the truth. It's more than just weed and porn. It's all kind of evil. Orgies, everything you can think of. You struggle with it now. Go ahead. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. So all those men and women, the Bible says it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. Go ahead. Then after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. So all those men and women had heard this truth, they came in this truth, they learned, applied, they prayed, they saw the benefits of the truth, men and women's lives changed, marriages held together through counsel, through the scriptures. Now they go... I just a hate group. I'm leaving. Every, yeah, they all hate groups. They're a hate group now. Really. It had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. Go ahead then. Then after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Read. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. And the soul that, the soul that was washed in her wallowing in the mire. So it says, the dog is turned to his vomit again. And the soul, which is the pig, that was washed to her wallowing in the mire, which is mud. You washed the pig and went right back to the mud that you washed off of it. The dog went right back, it vomited, then it went back to the vomit and licked it up again. That's what these men, every man and woman that left this truth. And, they, and listen, listen to what I'm about to say. I don't care if they're on Facebook and they got fringes on. They are wicked as hell. All of them. Every last one of them. Why? Because now, the, the evil that they said that happened in Austin, they put it on everybody. You're all wicked. All the leadership, you all did it. But we're all the way in another part of the country. We don't know what the hell's going on over there. So that shows improper judgment. Every last one of them. Let's go back to 2nd Ezra 15. Yes, sir. And we're at verse 25. Second Edges, chapter 15, verse 25. Mm -hmm. I will not spare them. Go God, your, wait, wait, what did God say? I will not spare them. So you wasting your time, you praying for these sinners. God said, I will not spare them. Go ahead. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Go your way, you children, from the power, meaning get the hell out of here. Go ahead. Defile not 
my sanctuary. Defile not my sanctuary. Why? Because you had Israelites in the midst of sin. So God said to them, go from here. Do not defile my sanctuary. Watch this. So you may say, but the sanctuary, we ain't got the sanctuary today. Really? Get Ezekiel eleven sixteen. No, sir. Really? We don't have the sanctuary today? Okay. Then what is this talking about? The book of Ezekiel, chapter 11, verse 16. Therefore say, thus saith the Lord God, although I have cast them afar off among the heathen. Right. We're scattered throughout America, throughout Africa, India, Central, South America, the Caribbean islands. Go ahead. And although I have scattered them among the countries, mm -hmm. yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary. Yet will I be to them a little sanctuary. Go ahead. In the countries where they shall come. So in all the countries, God said, I will be to them a little sanctuary. We'll have small schools. This is little right here. You might think this is big, but it's not. This is God says this is little. Why? Because the Bible says we number the sand as the sea, sand of the sea. So back in Second Ezra, it said, get Read that again in 2nd Ezra 15 and 25 again so we don't forget the thought. 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse 25. Mm -hmm. I will not spare them. God said I will not spare you. Go your way. Go your way. Get out. Ye children from this power from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. Defile not my sanctuary. Was that the whole verse? Yes sir. Get 1st John 2 18. It's the same thing that he was prophesying about. Happened during the time of the apostles. It's happening today. 1st John 2 18 and 19. The book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. These are the last days. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come. Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists. John said even now there are many Antichrists. There are many people against the Son of God. Go ahead. Whereby we know that it is, that it is the last time. He said that's how you know this is the last days. Go ahead. They went out from us. But they were not of us. See that they went out from us. Why? Because they were in the midst of sin, and it did videotapes, recordings to lure out the rest of the simple. That's what they did, and that's why God said to Ezra, "Leave from my sanctuary, and I will not spare you in that day." Read that again. They went out from us, but they were not of us. They went out from us because what? But they were not of us. They were not of us. So who wrote this? The Apostle John. When people leave the truth, they're not still in the truth. He's, why? W watch what this verse says. Read the whole verse. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us. Because if they had been of us in this truth. They would no doubt have continued with us. They would no doubt have continued with us. They would have still been with us holding the line. It's us against the world, brothers and sisters. These men and women left us. On the, here we are on the battlefield. They leave. They're not of Christ. They are, the Bible says they are anti-Christ. Do you not realize that the spirit of Christ is about unity? You're mumbling. Nobody hears what you're saying. That nooker in North Carolina did the same thing. We on the battlefield and he just jumps up and runs. Exactly. But you know what they all say? I'm then, still then in the truth. Then he sends, I'm still in the truth. Right. No, then you're not. Then he sends links to people in the congregation to watch that abomination. So same they're not niggas. still they in the that. truth. They want men and women to fall out this truth. But they will never say in their mouth, I hate God, I hate Christ. They'll say, I'm against leadership. It's leadership. They're evil. Who else on this earth is doing the work that we are doing? I'm looking all through YouTube. We're traveling here looking. It's only us. There's nobody else doing what. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. So now you're going to turn from this, go and sit in some room with an idiot, talk about meter, meter, or se passe, <laughs> eating cheese puffs, cheese doodles, and Good. cotton, whatever, bobos, bonbons. Right. The hell is this? That's the same. That's the same spirit of what we just left. What we just read. They were among us, but they were not of us. That is the same precept that goes with. For many are called, but few are chosen. Exactly. Saying the same thing. Exactly. Let's go back to Second Ezra fifteen. We're almost done. Did you want to finish that in in First John two nineteen, Bishop? I thought you finished. I said read the whole verse. Come on, man. <laughs> yes, sir. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have no doubt continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest. Ah, they went out from this truth that they might be made manifest. And the deceit is, the deceit is, they all say, I'm still in the truth. Look, I wear fringes. Look, me and my family. Look how cute we look. We got our fringes on. They're, they went out from us that they might be made manifest. That what? 
that they were not all of us. They were not all of us. The Bible says, give me that in Ephesians 4 and 3. I just got to read this. Yes, sir. Watch what it says. The, see, the spirit of God, when it says gather yourselves together, it means that. Right. Paul said the same thing here in Ephesians 4 verse 3. So if you read this and then separate, right. you got the devil on you. Come on, you antichrist. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3. Endeavoring to keep the unity. What's that word? Unity! You want to leave this gospel, leave the brothers and sisters that labored with you. Read it again. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Uh-huh, the bond of peace. There is, there is one body and one spirit. There is what? One body. One body. And one spirit. And one spirit. So how are you going to separate? I'm going to do my own thing. You're not in the spirit of Christ. I don't know what Bible you're reading. Go ahead. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling. Go ahead. One Lord. There is one Lord. One faith. One faith. One baptism. One baptism. One God. One God. And Father of all. And Father of all. Who is above all. Who is above all. And through all. And through all. And in you all. And in you all. Those are the ones that have that singleness of mind, heart, and soul. Those that are about unity. When you separate from that spirit of unity, that spirit of Christ, you're not about unity. You're not about gathering the nation of Israel at all. Go back to 2nd Ezra 15. Yes, sir. 2nd Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 26. Read 25 again. 25. I will not spare them. God said, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. Leave the school. Leave the truth. That's what this verse is saying. I will not spare them. Go your way, you children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. This is one of the small sanctuaries God has set up. He's saying, get out. Read. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. See that? The Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. You got men and women that say, oh, I didn't, you didn't catch me in no sin. I'm just leaving. Right. See, what we can't see behind the curtain, right. the Lord sees. Yeah. There's a reason behind it all. Go ahead. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. This is the Bible. I can't change this. We may have people that, oh, but I really like that brother. I really like that sister. And he had such cute children. There's nothing we can do now to change what this verse says. Read the verse again. Verse 26. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. And one of the first sins they did was what? They left the sanctuary. They said, to hell with y'all. Read. And therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. Read. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. See that? Now them plagues are come upon the whole earth. We read about one plague tonight. About the locusts. Now we see that them locusts is talking about them planes that was gunning everybody down during World War I, World War II. Go ahead. And ye shall remain in them. And you shall remain in them. For God shall not deliver you. Uh oh. Now this, to me, this scares me. For God shall not deliver you. I want to, I don't know about y'all, but I want to be delivered. Go ahead. Because you have sinned against him. Because you have sinned against him. See, y'all think you're offending us. You, what you do is not against us. It's against God. When you say to hell with them, to hell with IUIC, they're a hate group. That's not against us. It's really against God. Because there's no other organization on earth doing what God has us doing. That. Go ahead. Behold, an horrible vision mm -hmm. and the appearance thereof from the east. What's happening in the east? Here's a prophecy. Go ahead. Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. So the Arabs are going to come out with many chariots. This is a prophecy. Go ahead. And the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Here it comes. Also the Carmanians. Also the Carmanians. Carmanians are the Iranians. Write that down. This is a prophecy about the Arabs and Iran. The prophecy about the Arabs and Iran. Read also. Also the Carmanians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Mm -hmm. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. Give me that video about red flag of doom. Red flag of doom. Ah, uh, your president, Donald T. J. Trump, whatever his name is, he just murdered one of the generals in Iran. And Iran is mad as hell. So y'all play games with the Bible. You women curse out your husbands if you want. And don't think you're going to be saved. Don't 
I don't, you can sit in here. Don't think God is such an idiot. Yeah, she calls her husband a beach, beach ass Negro. I'm still going to save her. What scripture is that? Or you men that do evil things against them. Don't think the Lord's going to deliver you. Do not get it twisted. He said, all the sinners of my people shall die. Go ahead. Watch. Play that video. Read, read that. Hello. Read that red flag of doom unfur unfurled over mosque in Iran for the first time in history. Elisha, is that a video right there or no? Go ahead. Go down. Read up. Read. For the first time in history, the red flag has been unfurled over the holy dome of the Jamkaran Jam Mosque in Qom, Iran. Uh, the flag is a symbol of war. The a, flag is a symbol of war. Go ahead. A symbol of a severe battle to come. This is happening right now. So for you to see this stuff and you're reading the scripture and go, I'm going to leave the truth. You're an idiot. Just drop dead and die. Go ahead. This flag was <laughs> raised on top of one of the biggest and most important mosques in the holy city of Qom. If you got a problem with your brother or your sister, it's, this is the time to work it out. Make it right. Don't go, I'm so mad at you. Or you, or use that as an excuse. I'm just going to leave. I'm going. Uh, you're an idiot. Read. This flag was raised on top of one of the biggest and most important mosques in the holy city of Qom in Iran. This was done in honor of Shahid Qasim Soleimani, who was killed by the American airstrikes. Mm. Let's play that video right there. Go ahead. Hey, listen. What just happened is huge. Keep in mind, brothers, what the scripture we just, we just read. They're going to come together. You see right now? What just happened? A lot of the Arab world don't see nothing. They said it never happened in history. Listen, <laughs> you guys don't get it. They're going to come together. They're watching this. They ain't saying nothing. Don't think they're not seeing this. They're seeing it. They say, if listen, if a mocha can kill this guy right there, because they said this guy is actually, is actually what you, what you say, killing the vice president of the United States. He was the second most powerful man in Iran. You guys don't listen. What, they, what, what Donald Trump did? This thing is, they said, I was reading on some article, they said this thing is going to haunt America for, for a long time. What he just did. Yep, he told all the, now they say, that he told all the Americans to leave the Middle East. Leave. And then, they sent 3,500 troops in the Middle East. Your guys, listen, your guys are playing game. This is going down. There's Iranians in the United States Th of America. Who see piss, this? Piss the hell off right now. So, what? brothers, sisters, if you listen online right now, these have nothing to do with us. Stay in the scriptures. That's right. Because when you see this thing, the scriptures say, our salvation is near. Right. Do not do anything stupid. Don't say nothing stupid either. Stay in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can uh, pop a bottle, have a drink. <laughs> Stay in the scriptures. Right. Where's that scripture that says, lift up your head for your redemption? Yes. Give me that. Is it Luke? Yes, lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. Find me that one. Somebody help me. Anybody know where it is? It says 21, 28. All right. Okay. The book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then start, look, 20, uh, start with 25. Yes, sir. Verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars 
And upon the earth, distress of nations. We're seeing distress of nations right now. Go ahead. With perplexity. With perplexity, confusion. The sea and the waves roaring. Meaning nations getting angry. Go ahead. Men's hearts failing them for fear. Men's hearts. That's why Americans are running the hell out of the Middle East now. Go ahead. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. There's going to be a lot more things that's going to happen on this earth. Go ahead. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. When it says the powers of heaven shall be shaken, that means war. Go ahead. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Because Christ ain't coming this second. He's coming in the midst of the war. Go ahead. And when these things begin to come to pass. What should we do? Then look up. Look up. And lift up your heads. For your redemption draweth nigh. Let's get a Lord a hand for that thing. So don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. We're supposed to look up and know that our redemption is near. Bishop, you know, you know even some of the European countries start separate themselves from Donald Trump. Some of them disagree with what he did. Even some of his allies is disagree with what he did. They start separate and be like, hey, I'm not with you on that one. Right. Deacon, I thought, made a point. He said the, SPL, the SPLC is labeling us as terrorists. Trump just unleashed real terrorists. That's what you want. You're calling us something. You wait till the real terrorists get loose in this country because that's what's going to happen. The Bible calls them caterpillars. Right. That's what he calls them. Uh, uh, go back to 2nd Ezra 15. We're almost done. We'll read verse 30 again. Yeah, please. What's, uh, second, I'm sorry. Where was we at? We was at Luke. No, no, no. Before that. No, no. We was at 2nd Ezra 15 and 30. Yes, read 30 again. 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 30. Also the Car Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood and with great power shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. That's around Syria and Turkey. Go ahead. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand remembering their nature. Let's get their nature in our uh, Genesis. Is it 1116 or 1611? 1611. Yes, 1611. Sir. Thank you. They're going to remember their nation, their nature. Why are we being so docile, Habib? I do not know why we are being so docile. That is not in our nature. Watch what the Bible says. The book of Genesis, chapter 16 and verse 11. Start up where it mentions the name of who he's talking about. Verse. Verse. It says Ishmael. 11. Yeah, okay. verse 11. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Genesis 16 and verse 11. And the angel of the Lord said unto her. Said to Hagar. Behold, thou art with child. And shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael. And shall call his name Ishmael. Hold on, hold on. Bible dictionary again. Yes, sir. Get the Bible dictionary and look up Ishmaelites. Not Ishmael, Ishmaelite. And I want you to go down where it says all people. It should be the last paragraph. It's right there. Okay. Uh, Ishmaelite. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, this is the Zonovan Bible Dictionary, page 257. Ishmaelite, the bottom paragraph. The word is apparently used in the Old Testament in a wider sense, referring to the nomadic tribes of northern Arabia generally. Jump down where it says all people. All Arabs. All Ar Listen good. All Arabs. Following Muhammad's example. Following Muhammad's example, that's Islam. Claim descent from Ishmael. Claim descent from Ishmael. So they know who they are. Go back. Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 16 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord have heard thy affliction, and he will be That's a... That's what Ishmael means, affliction heard. That's what it means. Go ahead. Verse 12, and he will be a wild man. The Bible says Ishmael, the, the, the descendants of Ishmael shall be wild. How wild? They're willing to strap C4 on their bodies on their... Not just the men. Now they got the women doing it, and children doing it. And blowing everything to hell and back. That's how wild they are. Go ahead. And he will be. See, did you hear that? You better run the hell. Run the hell out of there. You better run. Go ahead. <laughs> and he will and he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man. See that his hand will be against every man. See, black people in America think, oh, this is my friend Habib. Right. He's my friend. No, 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 no. They are for one cause. And they're willing to sacrifice everybody for their religion. Go ahead. His hand will be against every man, 
and every man's hand against him. And every man's hand going to be against him. Was that it? And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. That's that area they call the Middle East over there. What are you going to say, y'all, stop? Yeah. In verse 30 in 2nd uh, Ezra's 15. Let's go back there. Yes, sir. The book of 2nd Ezra's chapter 15 and verse 30. Also the Carmanians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars. As the what? As the wild boars. As the what? As the wild boars. There's some Arabs again. Mm -hmm. There's Ishmael again. That was, the, that was the part right there, letting you know that it's talking about Ishmael. The Carmanians. They, go ahead. All right. As the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. And then shall the dragons have their upper hand, remembering their nature. And if they shall turn themselves, conspiracy, conspiring, conspiring together. So, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. You know this he said, remember their nature? You know how you took a lion out of the jungle? Right. You're not suppo he's not supposed to be nowhere but in the jungle. Right. They domesticated. That's where God put him. Mm -hmm. God said, listen, you lion, you in the jungle. You are here. You are. He saw going to the jungle, took the lion and put him in society. One day the lion woke up the lion and said, what the hell I'm doing here? <laughs> Why am I jumping to fire? That's not my nature. <laughs> Well, that's not my nature. We used to see that in, 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 the, in some of these things they say when animals attack. Yeah. They had the dog on elephant sitting on a stool. Yeah. The, the elephant, elephant recognized he said, wait a minute, what the hell? And he just lost and went crazy, tearing people up. Yeah, tearing people up. Tearing the tent up, running the kids all over the place, stopping, kicking. That's the same <laughs> thing with these people. <laughs> yes. Same thing with the Arab. That's what the scripture tell you. Yeah. One day they're going to wake up and say, wait a minute. That's not us. Right. Peace, peace. No, no, no. We're not about peace. We was never people about peace. They're gonna, the scriptures they're gonna realize what the hell is going on? Why are we signing, why are we signing contract with America? Wait a minute. That's not our nature. That's when the boom is start. Exactly. Let's make some phone calls. Exactly. Read on, read that again. Verse, verse 31. Verse 31. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. And if they shall turn themselves, conspiring together in great power to persecute them. You see that part? Conspiring together. Consp meaning you have many Arab nations and a lot of them are divided. Okay? Yep. What's going to happen is what did what America's doing is going to unite them. Because they're going to realize we can't fight America by ourselves. Right. We need to unite with our other Arab brothers and sisters. That's what's, that's what's going to happen. Right. That's what the Bible says. This ain't hate speech. This is truth. Right. This is prophecy. So don't sleep, okay? And this is why they want they don't want this word to get out there. To let people know that's right, the prophets are back and we're black. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise. So I'm gonna close it out right there. Y'all have one to bring something out? You had something y'all was gonna add to it? Go ahead. Oh, praise to the most high. How'd y'all enjoy that class? All praise. With a beautiful class like that, we just received a beautiful message. Uh, this is from our brother um, that was just shot, Aliel Micaiah, Israel. And he texts, he said, the word needs to be spread and the act of the apostles need to continue no matter what. No matter what, brothers. Be strong in the Lord. I'm going to be fine. So that's what he said. He's going to be fine. All praise. Bishop. So um, that was a great class, Bishop. All praise to Mosai. We pray our people look at this thing and, and repent. Because this thing is getting real. It's getting real. It's getting real. So uh, again, we want to thank Bishop for a great class. All we want to thank Dick and Yausa for coming through. Uh, Captain uh, the, the car is with us today. It's good to see you again, Captain. And uh, we got, then we got, a, we got, uh, we got a couple of officers in the house. We got the water officer. The water's in the house. We got officer. Uh, I almost forget this officer. The one, yeah, you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say Tobias. Tobias here every every week. Uh, who else? Who else? We got. Uh, we got Galileo. Emmanuel, we got a couple officers here today, man. All praise. All praises. All praise. Thank you, officers, for coming to visit us. Right. Oh, we got uh, Arkansas, right? 
Yeah, there's all, a bunch of blood from Arkansas. Is all here praises, too, all, all praises, praise, all praises. Hey, hey, I, I don't want y'all to forget. Remember, it's us against the world. Everybody against us, and we, we the men and women of the Lord. We had a big bread. Oh, you want to watch one? You want to get announcement? We have a couple of name changes. Officer Jacob in Ohio is no longer a Greek. He is officially Jacob, the Israelite. <laughs> All praises. All praises. Also, Sister Ayana here in. Atlanta, the house of Officer Simeon, is no longer a Greek. Oh, praises. And I believe uh, Officer Solomon has an announcement. Hey, shalom, family, shalom. <clears throat> Um, everybody's aware of, uh, I don't know how many people was aware of, uh, the car accident that, uh, my wife and my kids was in. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody for, man, it's tough talking about this, for your fastings and your prayers. Uh, right now, my, uh, my baby girl, she's still in the hospital, but all praise to the most high man with y'all fastings and prayers. We're going to get through this thing. All right. All right, all right. Hey, Officer Alicia, can you show those pictures? We're going to go ahead and open from through OriginalRoyalty.com the Passover garments. That's right. So let's go ahead and show those pictures. And the pre-orders are going to open immediately for these garments. They're going to ship in February. Okay. The price of the garments are $115 plus shipping. Israel, Israel, please read the instructions on the website and follow them accordingly. Hey, the woman's garment look way nicer. What the hell is this? That's <laughs> all praises. Women always look better than us. Y'all, hey, you women make us look good. All praises. <laughs> Yeah, and if you, if you have any issues at all with your orders, reach out to OriginalRoyalty.com. All the contact information is on the website. Do not call Deacon Asaph. That's right. Everybody got that? Yes, sir. Come on now. So all that contact information is on the website. So once again, these garments are $115. It's an option. It's not mandatory to purchase. But if you purchase, Original Royalty will make it right. All right. All right. Next, we got the Passover, the next two names being drawn by the great bishop. And these are people that are going to have their monies refunded from Passover registration, the early bird promotion. Here we go. All right. And the first person is Lavonica Keaton. Lavonica Keaton. <laughs> Atlanta, like, if you don't call my name, I'm not cheering. <laughs> All right. We ain't got no mute. We ain't got no noise or nothing over there. No excitement. All right. And the second person is Justin Lewis. Come on down. The price is right. Y'all don't know that song, that show. All praise, all praise. Alicia, you can put it up. Also, there's another raffle. 
And we want everyone to participate in. It's for who? It's, it's for whoever want to participate in the raffle. Hopefully everybody wants to participate in the raffle. We'll put the pictures up. All right, all right, all right. We have the uh, Sonos One SL Home Sound Studio System with the mounts. $5 per ticket. Now this is this is a uh, uh, what do you call that surround sound that's worth four hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so you can send your raffle funds to iuic dot at israelunite dot org. Make sure in the notes section you put your name, your camp, and your contact email. Mandatory. The drawing will be during the uh, after the feast of Purim that evening of Purim. The drawing will be and. And here's, I said that's a professional line of audio, Sonos. If those of you that's in uh, audio and sound, you would know that. They do like home, inst they usually put those in home installations and stuff like that. When you go inside people's homes and you don't see the speakers around it, it's been, a lot of times it'd be speakers that's made by this company. Okay. And professional that comes with stuff. the wall mounts too, right? Yes, it comes with the wall mounts. Professional yes. stuff there. And here's the second drawing prize, because uh, uh, there'll be two, two uh, prizes. Uh-oh, the sister said, oh. <laughs> so that means the sisters will be buying a lot, of, a lot of raffle tickets for this one here. This is a sewing and quilting machine. It's a brother uh, HC099, or I don't know the daggone model number, but it does a lot of stuff, okay? So be sure, same thing. The, the retail price of it is $200. Uh, make sure you send that uh, the raffle uh, funds to iuic.atlanta at israelunite.org. Again, your name, your camp, and your contact email in the notes section. Listen, I'm going to say that again. Make sure you put your information in the notes section. Do not disregard the notes. Then send me a text later on. Oh, I forgot to. Blah, 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 blah. We're not doing all of that. The order is put your name, your camp, and your contact email. Uh, Officer Netramaya, there's a question about garments for the kids for Passover. Officer Netramaya, is he doing a number two? Yeah. <laughs> Look, he just walked up. On the air, brother? Come in. <laughs> On the air, brother. Okay, now, come on now. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, what about Passover garments for children? Are they on original royalty as well? Okay, so there are children's garments there as well. All praises. Hey, Officer Alicia, can we also get that video? Just received a video. Some beautiful works. Let's bring that thing out. This is what God is calling us to unite under. As Calling you to be something greater. You're not an ordinary man. You're better. Well, come on. Where Paul does say the Holy One of Israel? Uh huh. Because you despise His word. Because we despise God's word. That's why we're called blacks. That's why we're called Hispanics. That's why we're called Negroes. And that's why we have to come over the side that says, "I am a man." The Bible says the black man and Hispanic man, we work for a nation that cannot save us. Meaning what? It's time for us to come together and save ourselves. But under righteousness. All praises. That was um, 
Captain Matathias and uh, Captain O.C., there was a big uh, rally, a march in Albany, Georgia. It was called the I Am a Man March, and they asked the Israelites to come and speak before the men. And all praise to see, hey, oh, let's get a Lord a hand again for that thing. And th this is the stuff that pisses Esau off. It pisses the SPLC off. You trying to raise the minds of black people? Unify them? That's the problem. But all praises to the Lord. What are we waiting for? Oh, 30 seconds. Oh. And in the meantime, while they get the video going, also, some of you may have not, may, may know or may not know, I believe it was Captain Amaziah did it, did the video? Captain Amaziah did a video about anti-Semitism or anti-Semitic. And while it was being uploaded, YouTube took the video down. They wouldn't even let it upload. Because what they do is they have certain algorithms that look for certain terms and, and sayings in videos and the algorithms, of course, detected something anti-Semitic of some sort. Even though he's just breaking down, we can't be anti-Semitic because we are Semitic. But obviously, Esau owns the uh, YouTube as well. But ultimately, the video is now on the main website. IsraelUnite.org has the video. So be sure to go onto the website. Share it, share it, share it. And you all should be visiting the website very often, okay? A lot of your information can be answered on the website. So make sure a lot of your uh, uh, viewing and, and searching out of information about us that you need to know, especially with all this SPLC stuff going on, the slander. We constantly update the website with your answers you should be giving in response when someone comes to you with the foolishness, all right? Let's be in one mind, one spirit, y'all. Shalom Israel, I'd like to welcome you to this year's Passover. I am Captain Dakar, and this year in Charlotte, we are looking forward to showing much hospitality and to our families of the nation of Israel, along with our leadership that we have coming in. We got the bishop, we got the deacons, we got the captains, and a host of family that will be appearing this year. And this year we look to have an experience will be like none other. Get rested now and get your stuff together. Make preparations for this year's Passover. Help us to come in to Charlotte and help us to hold the line. IUIC style Passover 2020. Be here. Don't miss it, Israel. With that, I say shalom. Oh, praises. How many are ready for Passover? Oh, praises. It's going down. And we have one more official name change. Captain Yadin. And somebody said, oh. <laughs> oh, man. In Memphis is no longer a Greek. All oh, praises. All oh, praises. Let's break bread. All right. All right. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. 
After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, brothers, let's rock the house. Faith, patience, salvation. That's true. Faith, patience, salvation. That's true. Faith, patience, salvation. That's true. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His what? His what? His what? His what? All praises. Lion sound, please. Lion sound. Wow, Atlanta. Riverdale, Riverdale. Lion effect. It's all past the moment now. Uh, the moment's gone. Okay. Do you guys got the, do you guys got the Levi sound? <laughs> uh, we're going to do an announcement of a uh, officer. Officer. <laughs> you online? Yay! Yay! Better late than never. Riverdale! Officer, we offline? 